Evaluate 3.6 minus 1.2 squared times 5 plus 24. Here we have a problem where we have to use order of operations and there are also decimal numbers. Again, we're still going to follow order of operations. It's just that some of the calculations will be a little bit more complicated because of the decimals. Now, there are no parentheses here, so we can skip that step and go straight to exponents. And we see that there's one exponent in this problem that we have to evaluate first, specifically 1.2 squared. So we need to take 1.2 and multiply it by 1.2. Here we have 2 times 2 gives us 4, 1 times 2 gives us 2, then we put a 0 in in the next row, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, and we add, we get 1, 4, 4. Now there are two digits to the right of the decimal places in the problem, so we need to put the decimal point in the answer so that there are two digits to the right of it. That gives us 1.44. So this problem becomes 3.6 minus 1.44 times 5 plus 24. So now we've done the exponents, we can move on to multiplications and divisions. There's only one multiplication here, so that's going to be our next step. We need to take 1.44 and multiply it by 5. 5 times 4 is 20, carrying the 2. 5 times 4 again is 20, plus 2 is 22. We carry the 2 again. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. So we get 7, 2, 0. There are two digits to the right of the decimal point in the problem, so we need to put the decimal point in the answer. So there are two digits to the right of it. That gives us 7.20, or just 7.2. So now the problem becomes 3.6 minus 7.2 plus 24. We've done all multiplications and divisions, so now we move on to additions and subtractions, which we can do from left to right. So we'll do the subtraction first. 3.6 minus 7.2. Um, we're going to have to set it up as 7.2 minus 3.6 because the larger number always has to go on top in a subtraction. We can't do 2 minus 6, so we have to borrow from that 7. The 7 becomes a 6, the 2 becomes a 12. 12 minus 6 is 6, 6 minus 3 is 3, the decimal point stays there. But this is going to end up being negative because the larger number, 7.2, was the negative one. It's subtracted here. So once we do this subtraction, we end up with negative 3.6 and then plus 24. Finally, we can do this. These numbers have different signs, so we need to take the difference. 24 minus 3.6. 24 is the same as 24.0, so we put that in as a placeholder. And we're going to subtract. We need to borrow from that 4. The 4 becomes a 3, the 0 becomes a 10. So then we have 10 minus 6 is 4, 3 minus 3 is 0. Bring down the 2 and the decimal point, we end up with 20.4, which is going to be positive because the larger number was positive. And so our final answer is 20.4.